Hello everyone and welcome to another poster tutorial. So today is a topography poster and it's like um, a tribute to one of my favorite YouTubers and one of my favorite filmmakers which is Casey Neistat. He always says this word, these words like work harder and actually that always inspired me a lot of actually working harder and harder and you know if you want to build something you need to, to put the work in it. So yeah, I made this poster. It's like used like, like this like nice perspective. It creates like this illusion. This could be like a cube in different ways. And yeah, I made everything inside Adobe Illustrator. So let's jump in there. So to start, let's just create a new document. 1700, 2400, RGB, vertical. Let's press create. Cool. So first thing, let's just choose our font. I, our words actually work harder just like this I'm gonna scale this a little bit up like this I'm going to click twice so I can actually select the text and then holding alt options in arrow up I'm going to just push this text a little bit closer together you can actually go select text as well go to character here and then you can just increase or decrease this number here and then it gets the text together the spacing gets a little bit better Next, I'm going to choose a real nice font. I'm going to use PP New Machina. I got it from Pangram, Pangram website, I think, not 100% sure. I'm going to use like an ultra boot version this time. I think I'll use like a medium on the other one. And then I'm going to object, expand, expand fill and content. And cool. So the first thing I want to do, I actually want to customize this type a little bit. So I want to make it a little bit more unique. So I'm going to actually delete some points here, make it like, make, make it a little bit mine. So let's just zoom in really quick. Let's just select, We're using the direct selection tool here, select these points here. Let's just delete the inside of the O, the inside of the R, the A, and the R again, and the D. All of the inside, so it makes it a little bit more interesting when you actually make that effect of the perspective. That's why I'm actually doing that, and also makes a little bit like it, it makes you feel like you don't actually just put a phone together and make that. So it gives a little bit more love, love on it. Let's just select this again. Let's go to our line segment tool here. Let's click it. Let's just slice more or less here. Choose like where you want to actually have the cut. I don't know if you are using the same words as me. But depending on what, which words are you using, you want to cut it here or there. So yeah, doesn't really matter right now. Let's just select our new line and our text together, holding shift. Let's just find our pathfinder somewhere. Pathfinder here. Then let's just drag it up. And on pathfinder, I'm actually going to use divide, which is we'll just slice our text quickly like this. Let's just select our text now. Let's just ungroup it and zoom in inside, select carefully just this one side and let's group it together and the other side, let's just group it together as well. Perfect. Next thing we want to do, you actually write Casey's name. Casey Neistat, I hope it's this way. I'm pretty sure it is, but let's just see. Actually, just select it text really quick here. I'm always struggling with text. And let's just make auto and scale it up so you can actually read it, right? It's important to have text that we can read. And let's just leave Casey Nace start here. Actually, we need to customize his name as well. So we can do that later. Let's just select it, increase this, decrease the spacing. Just like this. Perfect. And let's work on this text type now. So let's just uh, apply some colors already. Let's just select this one. Let's go to our swatches somewhere here. Yeah, perfect. Get those swatches. I actually have them really big. I don't know how if, if you know how to do it. You can actually just on this little hamburger here, you can just click it and then you make large thumbnail view. I like, I don't know. I like to have the colors as large as I can because it's like, it's easier to select them. It's easier to see them together. So let's just select this text side here. Actually, I used a darker, a darker orange here and then a lighter one this side. Yeah, let's just have a glimpse there. Okay, it was a, a like the lighter was another side actually, and this side was a darker. Perfect. 
So we don't want side selected, the lighter orange side selected. Let's just go to effects, 3D and materials, 3D classic and revolve. Rotate actually, rotate. And let's just go and select um, isometric right, like this. And just select the other one as well, go to effects and rotate and select isometric left. Perfect. So now we actually need to uh, assemble them together so it looks right. Let's just zoom in really quick. I don't want to need the swashers anymore, at least for now. Let's just zoom in really quick. Make sure they match perfectly. Thank God they did. And let's just select our text, go to object and expand appearance. Now we're going to actually select this text here using our direct selection tool here. Select this point here and just delete this clipping mask. Do the same thing on this side. Delete this clipping mask. Perfect. Let's just select our text, go to object and group it. So now let's just uh, center this a little bit on the artboard. Okay, center an artboard please. Something is not letting me to do it. Okay, perfect. Now let's just make a few copies. I like to make my copies like using shift and alt. So I can just drag the files here and always follow like a nice line. And I'm going to do a few of them just like this. Maybe, no, I think three will be enough. I think I will use four. Let's just double check again. No, actually just use three. Work harder, work harder. Yeah, three. <laughs> Perfect. And let's just like go select them again, go to object and group them together. I like always to group my files, my shapes together when I know they are going to actually drag them together. Otherwise it's like, you always move something by mistake. And then in the end it's like something's not aligned. Now let's do the KC one. Let's just go and go to object and expand. Fill and stroke. Let's just zoom in really quick and just delete these points here. I think Casey's name is easier to, to do it. Perfect. Let's just zoom out again. Let's go to effects, uh, rotate. This time we're going to use the isometric top. Just like it like this. Let's not just expand it again yet, because we're going to actually do some, a little bit of distortion again. We need to make it Casey's name a little bit larger. So it actually matches the, the size of the box. And maybe I will skew it a little bit too. It's like this, so it actually matches perfectly this like rectangle 3D geometric shape that we tried to create an illusion of with text. Perfect, this is pretty much it. I think let's just actually select the text when you're happy and expand it again, and then clean that clipping mask with the direct selection tool, like this, deleted, perfect, selected. Group it again, align to the artboard. I don't know what's happening, why it's not aligned perfectly, but oh well, sometimes Illustrator just has his one wheel. And then I guess I use a darker background. Yes, it was a darker background, new layer for the background here. Let's just design like a nice square, nice rectangle, same size of our artboard. Just let's press D. And to reset to black and white, delete the white fill, invert to black stroke here, black stroke, black fill. Actually, pure black or really almost pure black would be nicer. Let's just double check. Actually, use like an, a grayish color there. Maybe I will do the same thing here. And select Casey's name here and just change it to white or like a lighter gray. Something like this. It looks amazing actually. And actually I use also a little, oh no, not this one. I use the, uh, like a, cause Casey's al always using these sunglasses and actually download some from, from the internet, like a random vector. And I'm gonna use it as well here. You can just put like Ray-Ban uh, glasses vector on Google and you're gonna find like a lot of free options too. To use it from. Let's just select it. Going to scale this up a little bit. 
going to crop this solid again. Actually, going to lock these layers, create a new layer to create a, like a noise layer. Let's go to effects, texture, grain, and apply grain of 25% and stippled grain because this is like the black and white one. All of the other ones are actually, they don't work very well. There is like this soft, but then like you have like RGB colors here. I found the steep, steep, steep plaid is the best one. <laughs> Sorry for my, for the way I say it. This is, it's a little bit annoying probably. And then uh, play screen and then just play with opacity to find the right quantity that is that you like and if it's your taste and your poster of course and yeah this is such a zoom in this is pretty much it for today i hope you guys enjoyed i think it's a really cool technique to use the rotation 3d tool to create this like illusion of like perspectives and like even like create this like 3d objects with text i think it's a really good exercise with topography and yeah i hope you enjoyed please if you're not subscribed to the channel yet please do subscribe like this video share with your friends and family and i also started to share my discord channel on the description so if you want to join in please do it'll be really nice to actually connect with you guys and actually be able to chat with you guys see what you want me to do next maybe and even like just to share like the working files i'm trying to i've been trying to find a way to actually share these working files and i can really i think this probably would be a nice way to connect and actually share more so yeah, thank you so much for your time today. I hope I see you in the next one. Bye-bye.